Okay, thanks for the nice introduction from the chairman. And uh, I'm honored to be invited by VSI for this uh, talk. Uh, hi, everyone. Today, my talk is uh, titled uh, Sugarcane Harvester Technology, a critical overview. Here shows the outlines of my topic. First of all, I'll talk about the background. Sugarcane is the first sugar crop in the world. Uh, according to the ISO, I just got uh, some data. The first one in 2022 and uh, 23 season. The global sugar area was uh, uh, 27 million hectares, according to 85% of the total sugar production area. Uh, the sugar production from sugar cane in 2022 and 23 is about 182 million tons accounting for more than 90 percent of the total sugar production. However, for the sugar can harvesting, the mechanical harvesting level is unbalanced. We know in Australia, US, the mechanical harvesting about 100 percent. Uh, in Brazil, in Brazil, more than 85 percent by machines. In China and India, the mechanical harvesting level is low. I think it is less than 10 percent. I'm going to introduce two harvesting uh, methods. The first one is called a uh, Bend current harvesting. The advantage of this method uh, it can reduce the handling cost. Also, it can improve the, the pest control. The disadvantage of this method, it can uh, deteriorate the sugar. Also, can make uh, pollution for the environment. The second method is called a green cane harvesting. The good news for this method is can conserve the water and the soil. It also can help uh, control the weight and uh, reduce the pollutant emission. The disadvantage of this method, it can affect the harvesting efficiency. The second advantage, it can increase the harvesting cost. Here shows the two harvesting modes. The first one is the whole stock harvesting. There is the whole stock harvesters. This harvester, compared to the chopper harvesting, it has a simpler structure, and the operation is more convenient. The disadvantage of this machine is challenging to handle the bend currents. The second disadvantage is hard to deal with the large kings. For the chopper harvesting, the machines is kind of complicated, and it has a uniform chopped pieces, we call it billies. So it can increase the sugar deterioration. Uh, for this mode, the machine is more efficient. The disadvantage of this uh, harvesting mode, it can accelerate the sugar uh, deterioration. And uh, it has a juice loss. So, what's the current technology for the mechanical harvesting? First of all, the first procedure 
is a base cutting. Most researchers and scholars from universities and other institutions we are working uh, study on the mechanical properties from the stalks and the leaves. We can get the mechanical characteristics of different components of the sugar canes. We found, we found the factors affect the cutting quality. You know, sugar cane is a perennial grass, a perennial crop. If the base cutting quality is not good, it can affect the next year's yield. So I'm going to talk about another harvesting mode. It's called a stepwise, stepwise harvesting mode. For the combined mechanical harvesting, I'll put all the procedures together. For this mode, we separate the base cutting, the leaf removing, and other procedures. This kind of harvesting mode is very good. It's very used to apply to the hilly area. Also can be applied to the smaller, small sugarcane field. So here shows the small or portable base cutters uh, in China. Uh, several machines are commercial, uh, commercialized right now. Uh, for this blue one, it's designed by my group. This one can be cut, cut the sugarcane stock automatically. We can use a remote controller to control this control this small machines working in the smaller field. Here shows the leaf rem removing equipment. There are smaller ones, portable ones. Here shows the big ones. This one, the, the processing capacity can be up to 30 tons per hour. So here shows the new technologies in recent years to apply for the sugar cane harvester. The first one is a yield monitor program. A lot of companies, researchers, scholars use different types of the sensors to monitor the yield of the harvesting sugar cane. Also, autogallance system can be equipped in the harvester. Uh, the technology for the auto gallance system is GPS based, also machine vision based. Uh, in nowadays, the AI technology also applied for the uh, current uh, harvester. Here shows another technology. It's called the base cutter profiling control system. John Deere and the CNH, they have their own commercialized products. They use the ultrasound sensors or angle sensors or other important cameras to, to control the step, uh, the stable has uh, for consist consistent, which can help, which can help the farmers get a higher harvested uh, sugar can yield. Uh, in summary, there are harvesting methods and the modes were introduced. Also, I introduced the step by step harvesting mode and the equipment for the smaller field. Also talk about the new technologies in recent years. 
Uh, last but at least, I'll introduce my group. My group uh, is uh, called uh, Engineering Laboratory of Intelligent Harvesting Technology and Equipment. It stands for ELITE. Everybody knows what ELITE means. My research area is focused on the mechanical harvesting or sugar cane. Uh, my group members include uh, two faculties, two postdocs, and uh, two staffs. Right now, there are five PhD students and uh, 10 master students studying in my group. My group focuses on three Core technologies. The first is uh, crop dividers with uh, variable pitch spiral screws. The second one is a control rotating base cutter. It can convert it as a free cutting to support cutting. It uh, help to decrease, improve, uh, uh, decrease the stable damage rate. The third technology is used for the sugarcane chopper harvester extractor. It helps the extractor to produce the lower impurity content with a similar, similar power level. These three inventions, technologies, broadcasted in CCTV in China. The program called uh, I Love Inventions. Yeah, just shows the three technologies. Here is the uh, harvesting mode and uh, the equipment used for the terrorist field. I think uh, in South China, there are a lot of mountains and uh, hilly area. So this harvesting mode and uh, equipment, I think it uh, can apply to uh, the hilly area. So thanks for your attention.